Hello, hello. Happy Thursday. It's the SEAL Team 6 and we're doing Therapy Thursday, the night where we play something relaxing, not competitive. Um, because the Steam sale's been going on. I loaded up on a bunch of things that I've been wanting for a bit. Um, so tonight we are trying out one called No Longer Home. Um, I expect that there's going to be some some things <laughs> that might make us a little sad just based on the premise um so i've teed up the game i will say one of the things that i didn't show on screen um, that i really appreciated just right out the gate is um, there's a lot of uh, options for accessibility so if you are um, your site isn't great there's a screen reader um, if you are hard of hearing there is um, you know, like subtitle kind of options. There's there's bigger text for people who are older. There's there's just a lot of like neat things that I've not seen a lot of games uh, take into consideration before. So I can appreciate that. I think this game is supposed to be short. I guess we'll see. Um, all right, so Friary Road is a 10 minute prelude to No Longer Home. We suggest playing it, but you can skip straight to No Longer Home if you prefer. Then let's do this 10 minute Prelude. Give it a go. Let's see, let's go to options. Language. Yeah, let's see if you can like toggle it from here. Yeah, audio descriptions. That's the that's what they had before, so um oh interesting. Minimal UI. Accessibility. Yeah, screen reader, linear navigation. That's cool. All right, miscellaneous. Let's see what that's all about. Show hints, I'm sure, whatever. All right, let's give this a go. Stop. Best enjoyed with headphones. Audio is half the experience. No Longer Home is a semi-autobiographical based on the lives of two main developers, Hana Lee and Sel Davison. It features ma oh, well, I can't read that fast. <laughs> features many other characters. Something, something, something. Oh yeah, I bought donuts. Hell yeah, it's basically traditional at this point. See, I guess I'm deciding if I am the one who brought donuts or I'm the one appreciating the donuts. Okay, this, I'll be this one. You look like you needed the help. So just thanking somebody for helping with wants. Besides, it's the least I could do, considering how much I've been staying here. Yeah, about that. I was wondering, well, my flatmates have noticed. Oh god, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was getting in the way. No, it's not that. I was... We were wondering what you'd maybe think about moving in. don't have to decide it straight away. I'll probably have to talk to my parents about it. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it would save you a lot of traveling. That's true, and my parents would prefer if I was around more uni folks. Catching their breath. Oh. <laughs> That's the last of them. It better be. I don't want to carry another stupid pallet. Sorry for making you drag them back. I didn't think it'd be so much trouble. Interesting. You can kind of toggle between both, like, the conversation from both sides. At least we got to meet the cat on the way. Ah, the mysterious pub guardian? Yeah, what a cool little dude. So what's next? I'll order the foam. I guess we'll stack these in the garden for now. Good to have. I'm looking forward to having a sofa we can chill on. We've got quite a few. Let's play. 
Oh, a few Let's Plays to catch up on. Mm. Yeah. The Wi-Fi has been terrible in the bedroom. Hold it still. I am holding it still. I wish I had my dad's workbench. Can't you mark with your pencil quicker? That sounds... Okay, all done. You can move the shelf away now. At last. I thought my arms were going to fall off. Maybe we should have moved the bed out of the way. Could you pass me the drill? With any luck, the wall plugs will fit the first time. Hopefully these brackets will hold better than the others. So that's usually my feeling about tools and stuff. Those were awful. I hope they don't leave massive holes in the wall. Yeah. What do I know about DIY? You should have just bought them. Uh, it's fine. We've got plenty of time to fix it. Bo? Bo? Fell asleep at your laptop again? Oh jeez, how long was I out for? I'm not sure, I was focused on my own work. Dang, I thought I would have finished by now. Let's see, did I miss something? Uh, an hour, maybe two, okay. Dang, I thought I would have gotten this finished by now. What were you working on? Trying to get this damn job application set up. Four years here in university down the drain, and I have no idea how I'm supposed to market myself. I'm completely worthless. I don't even feel like a person anymore. You've been staring at the screen for too long. I don't know. It's hard to focus knowing we have to move out soon. Everything just feels really flat right now. I don't... It's not just that. What? I don't know. It's hard to explain, but I feel disoriented. I'm not sure I... Why? It's like I've been following this winding path through the forest and... And the path disappeared? I guess you could say that. There are so many paths and they're all overlapping and it isn't clear where they lead at all. At this point, it's impossible to s distinguish one path from another. Hmm. I definitely think you should take a break. You have been sitting there all day, after all. I know. I just don't know what to do with myself. I know you don't feel like going out right now, but maybe stretch your legs a little at the very least? I suppose you're right. can't tell were those the two people that were talking earlier or is this like the person's alter ego can't tell the following instructions refer to the default controls any changes made to remap the controls will not be referenced move your cursor and click to move your character as your character approaches certain characters and objects icons will appear Clicking these icons will trigger interactions. Some of these interactions may change the environment, some may not. The functions of these interactions may seem abstract. Try not to worry about it. Clicking a door or a door icon will take your character to another scene. Do this enough and you should be able to gather a sense of place. sending that job application anyway. A local art shop. Trying to get a few applications done though. Thought it'd be best to have a job close by until we move out at least. Oh, I sent an application there as well, but they never got back to me. Not that you wouldn't get the job though. I'm probably just not the most ideal candidate. I mean, I'm not from here, so I guess they didn't know how long I'd still be here for. I won't 
be local for that much longer. If it pays well, then you could always travel from your parents. I guess so. I don't even know if I want the job. I'd probably hate retail. Well, you won't know unless you actually do it, right? Don't give up before you've started. I guess you're right. You know I am. Owl's messy desk has been really stressing me out. I feel bad that it does. I mean, it isn't like it's their fault. It used to be even worse. You could hardly see my floor during my teens, but then something changed once I started going to sixth form. I guess I didn't like what the mess said about me. I started tidying up in massive fits. My dad used to laugh at the way I neatly arranged my desk. Well, it's not like it'll be an issue for much longer. I mean, he could talk to an Owl about it, but like, if he's like, stressed out about other things, I don't know, I guess I could. It's not like it's just the desk. It does affect the rest of our flat too, even if not as much. It's fair, it's a shared space. Thought you were going to stretch your legs. At least take a break from the studio for a bit. I will. Just collecting myself. Ugh. This is going to hurt my tummy. If they keep zooming in and out like that. Alright. Ginger chew. Okay. <laughs> when you click, these little flowers appear. That's cute. Whose shirt is this? A nice touch, actually. On the shelf sits boxes of tea and cereal, jars of dry dirt and sand from hourglasses that ran out of time. I feel like I'm always the one emptying the bin. It's probably not actually the case though. I should empty it later. Oh my. This is business. Shards of unknowable geometry float in the center of the room. Excuse you, what? What kind of game is this? Hmm. I don't remember this being here. Wait, does Owl know about this? Something about this feels... Gosh. This is a weird... Existential... Dilemma... Game, I guess. <laughs> or it's psychological horror and I just don't know it yet. I don't know, man. Now press the A or D keys to rotate the environment. Ugh. That was the last thing I want to do, but okay. Look. A se selection of books sits on the shelf. I'm a bland 
book not to be read. <laughs> Every page is packed with text in tiny handwriting, leaving hardly any white space left. I should really make more of an effort to hide my poetry. Oh, Aoi's suitcase. Won't be long after we move out before they have to start packing again. I'd love to travel more. It's been good to get out of London when I can. I don't know what their story is. Last year I went to Paris and stayed with a friend for the weekend. I've always felt cities were all pretty much the same, but Knowing someone there helps bring out its personality. We drank cheap wine in the park, then crawled from bar to bar, accumulating friends of hers at each stop. She had work the next day, but we both ended up sleeping through that morning and afternoon. I wish I could have stayed longer. It all went by so swiftly. I think you miss out on so much of the culture, not knowing the language. Besides, my mom used to teach French. I should be fluent in it. Learning anything takes so much longer for me. I feel like that'll be a big barrier when I do visit Owl in Japan. I'm sure they'd appreciate me putting in the extra effort. It'd be good to be able to talk to their parents. something? Alright. How would one leave? Here we go. Is it not time to leave yet? Needed to look at the door differently. Okay. Who this? Our flat a flatmate's fruit has been rotting there for weeks. bother me so much if they weren't always moralizing at us. It never gets eaten. I don't know why they even buy it. The waste bothers me a little, but it's mostly the flies that annoy me. I wish they'd at least throw it away once it starts molding. Hey Bo, guess what? That fruit still hasn't been thrown out. They never, th they never do throw it out. Yeah, we usually end up doing it eventually. It's wild how long they'll leave it. Do they not just not notice? Probably just don't care. Speaking of food, is everyone still up for the barbecue tomorrow? Liam can't make it, and Nana said she'd be late. Ah, the usual then. Are you sure you're still feeling up to it? You seem like you could use some rest. Hmm. You're not wrong, but I, it'd be good to see everyone. Actually, I got this game I've been wanting to finish. Maybe we can play that later, too. <laughs> got the day planned out, have you? Oh, Aoi, have you, have you seen anything odd, like in the bedroom? Seen what? Oh, that. I thought it'd go away eventually if we just ignore it. Is it still there? I... I don't think so. Then I guess it worked itself out. How are you doing, though? Feeling any better today? Let's see, I think...
think getting away from my screen helped a bit. Hey, maybe you should ask uni folks about getting going to that forest. Epping forest? I suppose that'd be nice. It's just difficult to motivate myself right now. Hopefully the barbecue will take our minds off things for now. That's business. Oh my. Things are going bananas. We're not safe. What's happening? I don't understand this game. Or this experience. And now my girlfriend's gone. The fuck? Where'd she go? So many bottles. Most of these came from my last place. I'm not sure if we'll ever manage to drink them. Maybe we'll manage to get rid of them at the barbecue. I should try not to d overdo it this time, though. I had a massive hangover at the last barbecue. We had a video shoot in the morning that we promised to do as a favor for a friend. I thought for sure I was going to vomit on the car right there. That's no good. There was a kitty cat, too. Man, we lost options. Okay. door won't budge. Maybe something on the other side got jammed under the handle. Ugh, I don't like the music, it's so creepy. I haven't left the house in a while now. Well, if only for grocery trips. Might be good to get out a bit. I haven't gone on a walk with Owl for quite some time. Maybe we could go for a walk through the forest with everyone. I'm always meaning to do much more, but somehow the days just end up slipping away, one by one. Oh, this is an existential crisis game. Alright. Alright. I don't think there's anything here that actually belongs to me. apart from the internet router. I need to remember to cancel the broadband earlier this time. I don't want to get served another unnecessary bill like last time. I shouldn't have gotten... Eh, I don't think I would get upset with something. I wish I hadn't bought those electric heaters. I'm sure the electric bill wouldn't have been as much if I hadn't. Both of them died on me eventually anyway, even the pricier one. There's not much point to all this in hindsight now. It's embarrassing having to borrow money from my brother like that. My other guitars are broken now, but this one still works. It's been about a year since I've written anything. I've let so many hobbies fade away. If only I'd put in the time.
plants look so sad. I keep wondering if I need to water them more often. Our sofa's gone. There was a sofa here before. The succulent roots are slowly rotting. I don't want them to die like the others did. thing is full of music and artwork I never finished. Abandoned worlds and drum machine files. Ugh, I think I'm one of those digital hoarders. It's like, oh, I will, I will use these files. <laughs> There's still so many uncharted areas that need to be mapped. I've gotten so many things I want to do. The gardens won't grow unless I tend to them. I know that too well. I used up most of my storage on half-baked metaphors. Get out of here. This room's suffocating. Neighborhood doesn't sound good. Boxes are stuffed full of trinkets collected over the last five years. there's anything here for me. Let's get out of here. Teeny tiny bathroom. Spores have settled in the towel and have begun growing into fungi. That's no good. Wash your towels, people. Wash your tail. Okay. I can't see myself. The mirror shows a reflection. Tell me a little bit. Because of the rotating camera. And just the zoom in, zoom out. That's hurting me. Here's our friends on the patio. Hey, Bo. Sorry Liam couldn't make it. He's busy working. Typical, typical Liam, earning a living. Capitalist bastard. Gonna have to leave early too, I've got a shift later on. Aw, that's a shame. I'll make sure to stay longer for the next barbecue though. I'll make sure to drag Liam along too. Actually, I'm not sure when we'll be able to do another one of these. We should at least meet up before Aoi goes back home. When are they headed back? 
Got a couple of months, don't worry. You haven't gotten rid of me just yet. Hey, Amy. Been getting much downtime since graduation? Oh, um, I didn't tell you? I haven't actually graduated yet. Oh, what? No, I had no idea. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out, actually. I've had to apply for extenuating circumstances. I'm still writing my dissertation. Damn, I didn't realize. I'm sorry, Amy. That's fine. We don't exactly talk much. she writing something about metaphysical meaning and forgotten objects? Yeah. That one didn't have legs. I'm writing about whether sci-fi came out of the other side of postmodernism or something like that. You sound unsure. I don't know. It's pretty lame. doesn't seem sound lame at all. Sure, I guess. Hmm. Let's talk about something else. We'll talk to all the people. You, you two holding up okay, Bo? Us two? Yeah, you know, Aoi and you. Oh, uh, it's hard to say. We've gotten so used to living together. I guess it's easy to feel that way. I mean, I'm only friends with Joe, but the flat feels so quiet when he's not around. No one to play co-op games with? Obviously not just that, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I imagine you'll be visiting Aoi in Japan soon enough. Well, of course I want to, but I have no idea when it'll be possible. I don't have any savings. Well, we'll all be getting work soon, I suppose. I was always saying how we should all go visit them. Yeah? When's that gonna happen, then? Listening in, Owl? No, I just heard the words Japan and visit, so you must be talking about me. Besides, I'm only sitting over here. It's a shame you have to leave so soon. It might not be my place, but I've been wondering. Have either of you considered marriage? Let's see. Are you joking? I'd do anything to stay. Is she though? Does she want to stay? Yeah, let's see. How about it, Bo? Going to give me that green card? You know I don't have enough income to qualify. Are you working then, eh, lover? You know I wouldn't a heartbeat, but the whole system's so messed up. Ugh. Uh. Keeping Aoi here is the thing marriage might actually be good for, but, you know, not all marriages get to be equal. We spent so much time talking about our sexualities under the eye of the church that we forgot to look for any other perspectives. the alternative. I don't know. I think it's foolish seeking acceptance through the means of archaic systems. People always get left behind that way. Oh gosh, what is that? I don't want to be part of the system. How are those burgings, burgers coming along, Aoi? Can I get you anything? That's nice. I think there's a still... Still a few things to bring out, as long as you don't mind giving me a hand. Yeah. Oh, right. Sure thing. I was actually wondering if you wanted a drink. Oh, I'm good for now. Thanks, though. The burgers are almost done. I'll see you in the kitchen. Don't forget you to have something to eat yourself. Are you kidding? I'd never miss out on food. We didn't get to talk to everybody. Oh, I guess maybe now we will. Oh, she's gone. Oh, no. I miss having the summer barbecues here. Our last one went well into the night. Feels like this one will, too. Okay, K. 
Can't talk to that guy. Can't talk to that guy. I guess. Gotta. What's the shadow coming down? Oh gosh. <laughs> Are we gonna die? Okay, there's the smoke. Okay, it was the shadow of the smoke? I don't know, man. Okay, I think we go up here. Upstairs. Maybe we don't. We're just going back in the kitchen. Kitty cat. Hey, Bo. Do you mind bringing out some more food? There's some halloumi on the side there. Sure thing. No problem. I can give you a hand if you need any help. Don't worry. I've got it. And I'll be cheering you guys on from my train platform. Gonna be staying much longer? Nah, I have a shift after this. What? This light? You haven't got some secret hitman job on the side or something, do you? <sighs> if I had, then I wouldn't have to be frantically looking for a cheap place to live now that our tenancy is ending. Oh, you're moving out? I'm going for somewhere a bit more spacious for this next place. Yeah. Your flat in New Cross is pretty tiny. Not sure how the two of you fit in it. Somewhere easier to find as well. I don't want to have to go outside to pick up you lot every single time. How about you? Kicking it here till you leave, I imagine? Nah. Our tenancy is ending real soon, so I'll be staying at Bo's parents' house for a bit. I had thought about renting out a place for myself till I leave. Who has the money for that, though? Exactly. It's impossible to rent out a place here unless you're sharing with someone. And I don't want to force Bo to live with me either, since they can't afford to anymore. You could always move in with some weirdo strangers. Yeah, like I did for a few months before I lived here. It wasn't a great time. It's a shame you can't both stay here and avoid all that faff. Hey, G-Child, hello! Happy Thursday! Hope you're doing well. I'm playing. Feels like an existential crisis game. It's like two people who live together and it looks like they're moving out and just kind of going through the motions of like what it means to not live together anymore is what I'm gathering. So. <laughs> A little heavy for Therapy Thursday, but that's, that's what the therapy's about, I guess. Just uh, sometimes you have to look at things that aren't always like cut and dry you gotta sort through it I guess <laughs> actually I'm, I'm being very cynical right now the therapy can actually be a very liberating and nice thing but there's some hard bits that you gotta go through too that's what this game feels like so we're slugging it out right now seems like this is the best place you've lived in I mean out of all the other train wrecks you've lived in certainly is a big improvement from the close to collapsing ceilings you had at Friary Road. I'm a little surprised that you didn't, that that house didn't kill you. I'm surprised I survived. I feel like I can survive a trip to the ninth circle of hell and back after experiencing that. It is a shame I can't stay though, even if I had to go to the tenth circle. I wouldn't say you'd be missing out on that much. Have you been doing alright with the whole leaving situation? You think you could come back anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. It hasn't quite settled in that I'm leaving yet. I still haven't started packing either. I'm still kind of in denial of the whole thing. Yeah, well, I'm in denial that my friend is leaving too. Friends, 
actually. I'll send you awful pictures of food every day you're in Japan. Then you'll have to come back to crummy England. Oh, Kim. I'd rather you buy me plane tickets if you love me so much. Money you can't buy friendship. Oh. <laughs> Checking the time. Oh, dear. I meant to leave 20 minutes ago. I didn't realize we'd been talking for this long. I probably better get going. Oh, well, good luck with your hitman job and let me know if they're hiring. You never know, Al. The target could always be you. <laughs> I'll see myself out. You threatening me, Kim? Alright, am I controlling? Oh, I'm controlling Aoi now. Gonna miss cooking meals for the both of us. Cooking okay, for someone else just hits different. Feels euphoric when sharing a good meal that you prepared. That's true. Back in Japan, I got called a good housewife. What a backhanded compliment. I just enjoy doing it. Why does it have to be gendered? To hell with gender roles, right? Ooh, you're a woman, so it's great that you enjoy cooking. Shut up. It's the same as drawing or playing games. It's one of the few things I'm good at. I'd like to take pride in it in peace. Thank you very much. I'm just some guy living their life. I wish people would understand that. Why does everything I do have to fit into this weird binary? poster is slowly peeling off, revealing the mold it had covered. Blech. Go in this open door? I guess. friendly cat like how are you happy thursday hope you're doing well um i'm doing okay this game is uh it's different <laughs> i explained it earlier to g child it's like a existential crisis game so yeah i feel like it's been a while since i've gotten to chat with you i've um yeah i still do my monday ones com uh, consistently but sometimes the uh the other days i haven't been uh, as good about in the last like month or so so thanks for your patience happy to see ya <laughs> yeah this game so far is just like it's from the perspective of like a, like two people who've been living together and from what I'm piecing together they're about to have to like move they're moving from this place they had roommates and now they're about to like embark on different stuff so <laughs> For real, for real. Well, glad you're here now. <laughs> I'm convinced this room is going to collapse sometime before we move out. The neighbor's staircase is right above it, and they stop so violently. I don't want to be in there when it finally does fall in. I think we still have some stuff left in there, but I've always been too scared to check. Like, what if it does cave in while I'm in there? I wonder if I could receive compensation from the landlord or the tenants above us. I mean, whatever doesn't kill me can only make me stronger, right? Mm. And even if, well, whatever. Mm. There's a lot of things that can not kill you and really still just wreck your life, so pass on that. Pass. So right now we are exploring. We're having a going away barbecue, but uh, we can explore the rooms. and so clean. I honestly don't know how they do it. I know my mess has been bugging them. I just can't keep my surroundings tidy. I've just been trying all my life. Nothing works. Maybe I could ask both for some tips. Well, that'd probably be. Tips though? Really, Al? When have you ever been able to follow instructions properly? Back in high school, everyone always used to joke about me having ADHD. I was so messy and unfocused. Always losing worksheets and filling my desk up with junk. I don't know. 
I just don't buy it. Me? ADHD? Nah, I'm just lazy. Everyone knows it. I was mentioned it a couple of times. Oh, has he? You're supposed to grow out of these things, though, right? I don't know that Bo has said it. I don't know. I mean, we're adults now. I should be more independent. I can't rely on others my whole life. Ugh. That's ex exactly how Bo and everyone else keeps telling me not to think. I guess I'll try asking Bo if they could teach me how to do it. That's nice. Soft green boy. Well, that's what people like to call him. I was given him as a high school graduation gift. I brought him to keep me company during the early days of university. He gently pats his head. I think maybe his sm smile grew a little. At the base of the cardboard box is a circle of molted ginger fur. Written in black marker on it, on its front facing side are the words fort and butthole. Eehee. Is that my cat's house? An etching is tacked to the wall. In the distance is a dock. In the foreground are four men unloading cargo. Leave in this room. I swear to God, if I stub my toe on these paintings again, do they not know how easily people can just bust up their bones from this? What a ugh. Wingdings. <laughs> wingdings, wingdings, wingdings. Wait, they must have got them out from under the stairs. How'd they even manage to get the door unstuck anyway? It's great, I don't have to go in there. The thing I was afraid to do. It's, I mean, it's got, it's like, mellow, mellow vibe. But there's also just kind of like bizarro things that happen too. Shelves that were once overwhelmed with the weight of books and cameras are now overwhelmingly bare. our flatmates are leaving soon then. It feels so odd. I haven't really talked to them in weeks. Seen them even. It feels almost like they're vanishing. Like ghosts. It's happening so fast I can hardly keep up with it. I feel like it's not going to fully hit until after the fact. Shoot. I wonder how Bo feels about it. Did they ever let Lou know we're moving out? There goes his plan to move in, I guess. Alright. I can't tell. I think Bo's my boyfriend. Or person. My partner. I'm unclear. But it seems like it. I guess we talked about a green card marriage. <laughs> that is a thing that came up. Interestingly, we came, we went through here earlier, and, uh, but as the, as the bow character, their takeaways are just a little different. Damn, I keep forgetting to throw the finished toilet rolls in the recycling. Why does it always have to be me to do these things? Sometimes it feels like Bo and I do everything around this house. Cleaning wrote rotation fell apart once our flatmates got back from their week away. Feels like there's hardly any point keeping to it if they don't. Alright. Earlier, this like, geometric figure just wrecked our world, so I guess that's what we're doing again. I'm going to drown myself in the bathtub. Below the surface of the water are many worlds expanding and then disappearing forever. 
Yeah, this is like the psychological horror bit of like this game. It's like, I don't understand. <laughs> Goodbye, sweet world. Mesmerized, you're getting sleepy. It feels very surreal with the like police sirens going on in the background. I just had to drain the tub. I just ruined all those universes. Sucked them down the drain. Well, that was weird. <laughs> she said to herself. Unclear what had happened. This game's so bizarro. Oh yeah, I still have friends here. Final notice again? I thought we were on top of the gas and electric. We'll have to request an ending bill soon. With any luck, the gas and electric will owe us some money. Joins their friends for the rest of the barbecue. Let's do it. What does what does that even mean? Which part? <laughs> moving out in just under a month now. We should probably start packing soon. Our flatmates are well ahead of us. Aren't you moving out t soon too, Joe? Every part. Yeah, yeah, this, this game's a bit odd, so I guess we're not good at paying the bills. Like, sounds like Bo is like an art student and he's looking for jobs and and Aoi is like moving back home to Japan and I think they're in this like spot of like what do we do well actually before that though she's moving in with his parents him and his parents it sounds like or I can't tell if he's going to I think so but already started I've been moving stuff back to Finchley bit by bit oh yeah this game's based in the UK it's been a slow process moving stuff back to my parents' house. I might haul some more stuff tonight. Forgot just how much of a pain it is to get to and from South London. I don't envy you. I'm going to have to get my dad to help move our stuff. We have so much furniture now. I really should have started sending things back to Tokyo, huh? <laughs> you, UK British. <laughs> Fortunately, I haven't had anything too bulky to take back. I've just been taking things back on the tube. That's very British. It's Tuesday, isn't it? <laughs> Bottle of water. That's, a <laughs> That's some Britishy things to make this more legitimate. <laughs> our friend who's got a shift later she's at the train platform anyone else want a drink we're seeing the center of the planet this game's so bizarro oh okay i could use it with the top up cheers and then this guy just blows up the center of the universe not the universe the planet the planet is not the Tell you what though, I'm excited for when the crossrail finally gets finished. Not that we'll get any connections around here though. Any 
the only person I know to get this excited about that kind of stuff. We've been going on about it for months. It is exciting though. Just imagine being able to get to other side of London that fast. It won't be as impressive as the Shinkansen, sure, but not gonna lie, getting to the east of London with only one train would be desirable. I guess it'd make picking you up at the airport easier. The journey from Heathrow is hell. Apparently, some of the older buildings above the tunnel have started to sink. They've injected this stuff under the buildings to make them stable again. You know, I've heard they're repurposing some of the old underground stations now. Oh, I read about that. Aren't they planning on turning them into houses? Yep. I understand that they'll be building some shops and bars, too. They're planning on making it into some underground metropolis. That's kind of cool, although I'd be scared. I don't know. Usually you see a lot of post-apocalyptic things where people live underground. Maybe that's where we're at. Sceptical. <laughs> Not skeptical. <laughs> it all sounds pretty swanky. A lot of the local pubs around here are being repurposed for housing, too. Yeah, there's one around the corner from Tiff and I. At least the tube stations weren't being used, but all the pubs disappearing just feels like such a shame. I guess they just weren't being used enough. That's because the communities who were there, who were, have been slowly pushed out. Ugh. I mean, I only really go to the pub with you folks drink? Yeah, drink. Well, it certainly feels like the end of an era. Probably time to start being adults and pay those taxes. Has anyone here ever been taught how to pay taxes? We all learned a lesson about paying council tax, that's for sure. I made the mistake of living with a mix of students and folks working full-time during second year. And now we're having trouble with it again, despite knowing how much it messes us up last year at Friary Road. I don't know, man. <laughs> Game. I mean, there's intriguing bits to this game. Like, it's still very, like I said, bizarro, but I don't know that I'm hooked. If it doesn't turn around in a bit, <laughs> I might be, you know, I should see it through. I mean, this game's supposed to only be like two hours, but man, it's a slug right now. Pours herself a bow, another drink. I wonder if that weird shack in the garden is still there. At Friary Road, I mean. The love shack? It managed to survive through that strong wind during second year. A whole lot of trees got uprooted around Peckham. I remember there were a few blocking the roads. That wind was ridiculous. The, sa the shack seemed pretty sturdy. It's probably still there. Unless, of course, the landlord took it down. We are in a different backyard. It is evolving around us going down memory lane. That'd be a shame. It had kind of a rustic charm to it. I know what you mean. I quite liked it too. It did make cutting all that grass pretty difficult though. I still don't feel like we should have had to do that. To be fair, we could have done a better job of maintaining it. On the other hand, the landlord never made such an effort. did anything about the rat we had. The rat just gnawed straight through the holes they filled in. I don't envy whoever's living there now. The rat is probably mummified under the sink. I've not had a rat before. I hope to never. I hope to never. That's what kitty cats are for. No thanks. Haven't finished this. I ended up being the last one to leave that place got pretty lonely towards the end. Well, 
At least we had that barbecue. You were nice enough to keep me company after everyone had gone. Honestly, I was feeling pretty lonely myself. It was nice to stay over, even if we were sleeping in separate rooms. Sorry for making you sleep on Joe's old bed without a blanket. One of you folks left me frozen chicken nuggets to live on for the last few days, so thanks for that too. Oh, those were probably mine. I must have forgotten about them. I still feel kind of bad for leaving so early. The sun woke me up at about six and I didn't want to disturb you. Come to think of it, I'm not even sure I knew which room was yours. Well, it's got a pretty dark. Wanna head inside? It's got cold. You're gonna catch the death of me. We can build a blanket fort and play some video games. Sounds good. I'll give you a hand bringing stuff inside. What do we think this constellation is? Mm. Frog? I don't know. This feels like a Rorschach test. I wonder if it's a real constellation. It's just a whip. Just a whip. Afraid I'm gonna have to head off now. Back to Finchley tonight? Yeah, long journey on the northern line ahead of me. This was good though. Good to do another one of these. Yeah, it was good. And then they never saw him again. <laughs> this looks like a murder scene. Goodbye, friend. See, he's by himself now. Look at the newly dug up dirt over here. <laughs> Maybe not. I spent so much time weeding the flower bed when I moved in. I really should have maintained it. It seems like there are even more weeds than before we moved in. All the flowers we planted together swallowed up by Alcanet and Enchanter's Nightshade. I can't believe the neighbors stole our mop. Just look at it, sitting there. I mean, what kind of Frico does that? Frico or Thievo? Like, just go buy your own. There's plenty of good pound shops on the main road. I mean, damn, I think I preferred the constant howling of the previous neighbors. At least they didn't steal our mop. Rude. go inside our house. Oh jeez. I think I better leave cleaning up this mess till tomorrow morning. I should at least try to do it before our flats meet. Skid up. At least we managed to get rid of some of those drinks. No, your flatmates need to throw away that bowl of rotten fruit. Can't do everything. I wish the cats didn't make such a mess with their food. I miss them both. And whose cats are they? Oh no! Alright. Oh, I just realized this has a triangle eyeball, this has a circle eyeball. Don't know if that's different or like what that denotes. The poster portrays many beasts drawn by the digital monarch. They say this is only an eighth of the beings now known to exist. I always, always wanted to publish their own bestiary. They've been drawing all kinds of creatures since forever, really. More than a couple of times they've mentioned the documentaries their dad made them watch as a lone kid, both with reverence and fear. Managed to snag this bed from my last place as well as a few other things. It's nice of our landlord to just let us have it. It's wild to me to be at this point in my life where I own all this furniture. I didn't just find a couch by a dumpster. 
feel like it carries so much, who I am, how I got here. I'd like to get a fresh start, figuring out who I am from the beginning. I don't know that I like either one of these, truthfully, but let's... But let's get a fresh start. But I can't get rid of all this stuff. How would I replace it? It's not like my parents would be able to dump a load of cash on me. I can't just change how I am or how I live, and they're both informed by each other. TV like turned our world upside down earlier. The same way the girl when she looked in the bathtub. This game's weird. Alright, let's go in this first door. The bathroom. I doubt there's gonna be another event in here. Have we looked at all the bathroom things? I think there might be mice living under beneath the tiles and the floorboards. The landlord better not blame it on us. It's obviously his problem, but I know what landlords can be like, and I don't want to lose the deposit. Yeah, that sucks. Deposits! I mean, I get it. I understand why they are necessary, but like, sometimes they try and nickel and dime you. room, I guess. Let's take a moment to chill around the flat. Let's not progress the storyline, I guess. Oh, kitty! You can talk to the kitty! Getting a break from everyone, Autumn? needed one too. I wish I didn't. I want to be around people. I just get so tired. You always seem like you wanted to be around people, just not too close, eh? I can understand that. Though you never want to hang out with me, do you? I don't know why I get so upset about it. I, I just want to be liked. Not long left. You could try to be friends. This is stupid. I should be having fun with my friends, but I don't know how to do that, so here I am talking to you. Well, see you, Autumn. Let's pet her! Aww. She did it! You did it! We're friends! Top shore is crammed with tins of pineapple, all long expired and sharing the same date. Gross. Gross. That's not where that goes. This is not a kitchen. Do you not like? Alright, so let's go build that blanket fort with our friends. This blanket fort sucks. <laughs> what part of this even resembles a fort? I didn't see anyone else helping while I was arranging it. It's fine, don't worry. Yeah, let's just play a game. What are we playing? Hold on, I think I've already got something loaded up. It's this sort of text parser game. Oh, wow, people still make those? I used to play them with my dad as a kid. Yeah, but now it's like cool and punk. If you say so. Shall we get started then? I want to play some video games. Hold on. Let me just... 
hack the system. Ugh. I don't think I can with this game. <laughs> Are we gonna play a game within the game? Oh gosh. <laughs> no. I can't. Alright, among the leaves. You've been traveling through the forest for almost an hour now, and you've lost all sense of direction. You're starting to give up hope of ever finding a place to stay. Jump off the edge of the planet? Oh, the forest. Look down at your compass, as if it might help you, and consider your next direction. I'm sure we can't get lost if we just keep heading straight. The trees seem to shift as you walk by them, clearing a different path from what was initially there. A few moments pass by. In the distance, you can hear the faint sound of a telephone ringing. Off in another direction, two lights catch your eye, perhaps from the windows of a cabin? Ugh. Ugh, is this a horror game? I don't like any of these. Don't just pick up a random phone, that shit never goes well. And don't sleep in a random cabin. We're gonna pick up the crown. Creepy phone, sounds good. You head towards the sound of the ringing. The trees allow you passage. Boo -hoo -hoo -hoo. <sighs> no. By the time you reach the phone, the ringing has already stopped. I've seen this scene. I saw this in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's not going to end well in this phone booth. By the time you reach the phone, the ringing has already stopped. The phone booth in front of you, completely taken over by plants, appears to have not been used in years. Why would it ring all of a sudden? Well, it's kind of like the phone booth by my house. Back in Japan, I mean. I always pass it on the way to the convenience store. Oh, I miss 24-hour convenience stores. Do people even use payphones anymore? I think so. Every so often I see someone use one. Wild. Okay, what now? Why don't we just check if the phone works? I think I see a phone book, which also does not exist anymore. <laughs> Type something into the keyboard. You pick up the receiver. Silence. Ugh, it's not working. Let's head somewhere else. keep walking, but every step feels just the same as the last. Eventually, the foliage shifts, splitting into two paths. The left heading towards what you assume to be a cave, the right snaking up towards what appears to be a stream. Finally, some adventure. Let's check out the cave. Maybe we can find a house somewhere on that stream. Ah, where's your sense of adventure? I thought we were meant to find somewhere to stay. Could stay in the cave. Oh my gosh, we are playing a game within a game. What would happen if the game within the game was much more interesting than the game? It's not though, but what if? You arrive at the street. All the houses appear dilapidated apart from one. Gameception, that's right. One of those M.C. Escher paintings where you just go down and down and down and up the stairway. It's derelict, but you get the feeling that it's been abandoned more recently. Is there a way to get into one of the houses? You mean like a door? We must be able to interact with house that isn't all broken up, right? I'll see if there's any gameplay in that house. 
He opened the door of the abandoned house and walked through. Zombies. Nice, we're getting somewhere. Murder. As you pass through the door, you find yourself still outside. Past an archway, steps lead up towards a structure that you cannot quite make out. You make your way up a first set of steps and find another. This one is blocked by a large creature and a woman furiously sweeping the floor. Ooh, let's look at the creature. You head towards the two, but they appear to be arguing and don't notice you. Hey, I was wondering if... You're the one who says we should take turns cleaning this place. I don't remember saying such a thing. God, you're so unreliable. I don't think you should be saying God that way in a shrine. Shut up, don't change the subject. I should probably say something, right? Yeah, you need to clean up, man. It's your temple too. He, hello? Never do anything you say you're going to. Ah, oh, come on, Aya. I'm trying. I don't think they're paying attention to us. Um, hello? I was wondering if you... When are you going to start pulling your weight around here? Talk about sloppy. You hadn't even noticed there's a visitor here. Stop trying to change the subject again. Wait, what? Terracotta slithers away, leaving a rather flustered-looking Aya staring back at you. What a jerk! He just fucking alien moonwalked out of here. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't noticed you. Terracotta always brings out the worst in me. Did you come to offer something to the fox god? Hold the phone. A fox god? Sorry, what? Fox God? Oh, you're not local, are you? Did you come here through the forest? I... There was a house, and... We've been getting a lot more people coming through the forest recently. Most of them trying to find somewhere to live. I'm guessing you are too. Huh, yeah, actually, I've been trying to find somewhere before I start my studies. I see. Well, I'm afraid I don't have anywhere to offer. I'm looking for somewhere to stay, actually. I'm afraid only Terracotta lives around here, and that's only because he lives outdoors. Oh, right. In that case, I should probably get going. Sorry to disturb you. Hold on. I might know somewhere. Are we sending them to Miguel's? Ugh! I told you not to sneak up on me like that. I used to hang around the old church before I met Aya. Nobody asked. He mistook me for his dog once. Can you believe it? I mean, it was dark and I was sulking around, but that's a bit rude, you know? <laughs> shouldn't have been sulking then. Uh, well, maybe you shouldn't have been sulking? That's what I'm always telling him. Aw, oh, come on. I've got to find food somehow. So anyway, Miguel runs this gallery called the Old Church. I'll be honest, I don't really get it. I prefer more traditional art myself. Well, see, he takes residential artists and, well, you seem like you're probably a creative type. Uh, thanks, I think. If you go back through the forest and find a piano with a screen, it should take you there. How do I... You'll be fine. The forest seems to have a way of guiding people. Um, okay. Thanks. I'll go check it out. Alright. I... Can't. <laughs> I can't. I think I'm gonna save. I think I'm gonna save if it gives me the option. And, uh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to call it here. It, this is just not pulling me in. I, I mean, it's relaxing. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and as we slugged through this one, but I'll, um. Uh, you know, we tried it out, and it just wasn't, uh, it wasn't to our liking. So, it wasn't to my liking. So, we'll just try something else out next time. So, 
my next stream is on Saturday. We do cereal on Saturday, so um, think of it like your Saturday morning cartoons. And then after that, it's back to date night Monday. So I hope we'll get to see you again. Thank you so much. And uh, I think we're going to go visit our good friend. Let's see. Q Revision happens to be playing at the same time as me. So, all right. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Oh, let me get this raid set up. <laughs> we'll be bye-bye in a little bit. It's like we're walking back. We said bye, and now we're walking back in the same direction in the parking garage. So, <laughs> here we go. Right now. Night-night.